I'm just going to make some marks without looking at the paper. So just trust me that I'm really not looking at the paper. This is a um, paint marker with uh, black high flow acrylic in it. And I'm using my right hand. I don't even know if I'm on the paper or not. I think I'll just switch. I'm a little more comfortable with the left, maybe. Okay, now I'm looking. There's number one. I'm just trying to vary the line. I'm going fast and slow, smooth and jerky, just trying to find different ways of moving this marker on the paper. When I'm painting, I often lift the paint using this cheap drawing paper. This is 80 pound cheap drawing paper. Um, and so I end up with a lot of kind of interesting um, marks and colors on this paper. So I'm going to use some of this and draw blind on top of them. So I'm going to use the same implement for now. Oh, I don't know where I'm going to start. I'll just start drawing. I don't even know if that was on the paper. So now I have um, another paint marker with a bright sort of red-orange paint in it. I'm going to, I'm looking at the page, I'm going to start up here. Now I'm going to close my eyes and do another kind of brief blind scribble. I'm going to make it kind of spare. Okay, that's number one. On the next two, I'm going to use a pit pen. Again, I'm going to look at the paper when I start and then close my eyes. I think since the camera is on my left, maybe I should do this with my right hand. I like this one a lot. Hmm. Uh, I'll start over here. Okay, now I'm closing my eyes. So now I've got eight pieces that are just starts, places to begin something. And so I'm going to sift through them and find a couple that, that I might like to develop. And this doesn't mean they have to be finished pieces. It's just something that calls me to do something else. Something that might sort of exercise my mark-making skills. I'm going to take a white paint marker Now I am drawing with my eyes open now. I am paying attention to how this line relates to the marks and colors on the ground. And at the same time, I'm not slavishly following them or outlining them. Just paying attention.
I'm going to just begin layering some paint. It's just white paint layered with a brayer. And with the brayer, you can apply the paint. And then it also has a sort of lifting effect. You get the excess off your brayer and then apply some pressure. So you can build a really veiled kind of layer. This one I'm going to apply paint just with a brush. And I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just trying different things. This is sort of uh, just free experimentation. Here, I'll just use this lifting technique that I use quite a bit and results in these cool papers. So now I get that mark on this piece of paper. 